All new at 10, it's the case of the missing gargoyles. These two cement statues have been stolen from southeast Portland. And their owners say they just want them back. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez shares why these concrete figures are so important to this neighborhood and the reward offered for their return. This is all that's left of the two gargoyles that have been icons in this neighborhood for more than 15 years. The homeowners say last week they were taken in the middle of the night. Like just seeing this like circle of emptiness, you know, like they've always been here. And I just sat, you know, and cried. Chelsea Kane and Mark Mohan are heartbroken. The gargoyles were a gift from friends and the two say they became like pets to them. Even tonight, thinking about talking to you guys, I was like, this will be so great. I can pose next to the gargoyles. No wait, <laughs> I can't. They're gone. But it's not just the loss of the gargoyles themselves. It's what they meant to this community that Kane says is even more devastating. There are so many kids who uh, take their first day of first day of school picture like next to our, gar our gargoyles, people who come by and like celebrate moments with our gargoyles, you know, right? Gargoyles. Yeah. Who has them? And why? Kane dressed them up for holidays and even had them mask up because of the pandemic. If you have a gargoyle and you have to like think of a costume for Labor Day, it's it's tricky. But I was all in. I have a huge, a huge container of gargoyle hats. I would do my very best to uh, create a little bit charisma or moment for those gargoyles and mostly for the people who walked by. But the gargoyles aren't just famous in Portland. They're featured in the graphic novel Fight Club 2. That is our house. And these are our gargoyles, Matt and Kelly Sue. The couple did file a report with Portland police, and Kane says she believes this was not a crime of opportunity because of the size and weight of the gargoyles. But in actuality, practically, they're huge. Like, they were as tall as I am right here, like the size of squatting Malamutes and <laughs> concrete. Uh, with big wings, each one weighed a, like 300 pounds at least, so it would take a couple of people to take it. The couple is offering a $100 reward for the return of the gargoyles, but they're also hoping that they'll wake up and Matt and Kelly Sue will be back where they belong. In Southeast Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12 Oregon.